why would you even need an editor chick in the first place? Now usually, blueprint tutorials show blueprints made using the built-in event tick, which fires an event on every frame drawn by your computer. The only problem with this is that it fires on every frame being drawn during play mode. Or in other words, you will see the result of your code only after you've clicked the play button. For demonstration purposes, I've created a blueprint that prints out a message on every tick using the event tick. The editor tick, however, allows you to fire an event in the editor itself and thus you get to see results in real time without even having to play the game. You have to be cautious though. Everything you hook up to the editor tick will be run about 60 times per second immediately after compiling the code. So it's probably a bad idea to use the editor tick for spawning objects, for example. To get a working editor tick, we need to create two things. A blueprint interface and the blueprint from the parent class editor utility actor. Let's create the blueprint interface by right clicking in the content browser and choosing blueprints Blueprint interface. We'll call it BPI underscore editor tick. Once opened, add a function named editor tick. In the details panel under graph, enable call in editor and compile and save. That's all we need to do regarding the interface. So let's create our main blueprint. Once again, right click in the content browser and this time choose blueprint class. Search for editor utility actor and choose editor utility actor. We'll call this bp underscore editor ticker. In the class defaults, we will have to enable these three parameters. Allow tick before begin play. Tick even when paused. And is editor only actor. Once we've enabled these three parameters, compile and save. Let's head into the construction script. Here we're going to create the main part of our ticker. First off, we'll create a float variable called tick rate per second. Make sure it's a float variable and compile. We're going to use that variable to tell the tick how many times per second we want to fire an event. Imagine this being your fixed frame rate, if you will. I recommend a default value of 30 to 60. I'm gonna use 60. Next up, Let's add a branch and use our interface as a condition. You can add a branch by either right clicking and searching for branch or use the shortcut by pressing B and then left clicking. Get set timer by function name. And plug in our parent and our previously made variable tick rate per second. Now, because set timer expects the time input in seconds, we would end up with our tick firing every 60 seconds. So we have to divide one by our tick rate before plugging the result into the set node. Also, don't forget to enable looping. Under function name, we're going to use the name of the function we defined in our blueprint interface. In my case, that's a uh, editor tick. Almost done. 
Now we just have to implement our editor tick inside the blueprint of our choice. You've probably already created a blueprint before looking up this tutorial. So now is the time to open it up. I'm going to use the example blueprint from the beginning of this video. I'm just imagine this being your blueprint you want to implement the tick in. We'll go into the constructor and get the add child actor component node of the newly created class BP editor ticker. Under class settings, interfaces, implemented interfaces, we can add our BPI editor tick interface. And we're done. Now we're able to get in the event graph and add our editor tick by using a right click and searching for editor tick. Add event, event editor tick. And boom, it's printing out right here in our viewport. No need to click the play button. For a bit more of control, we now could add a branch right after our tick and use a Boolean variable to switch the tick on and off directly from the details panel. If you want to get real fancy, you could also do this in a utility widget and maybe even switch between the editor tick and the event tick based on whether your game is running or not.